Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Raquel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I have some products that I want to show you guys. It's actually from a Curlbox subscription. It's the Luster's Pink Shea Butter and Coconut Oil line. It's specifically made for natural and textured hair. So I definitely wanted to try these products out in my hair. I don't know about you, but I grew up with Luster's Pink in my closet my mom used it on our hair used it in her hair so it's been a staple product since uh, as far back as i can remember it's definitely an og black owned hair care line and i wanted to try it out so if you guys would like to see this video stick around if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe like this video okay let's go ahead and hop into it The first product up is the moisturizing shampoo. It states that it has shea butter and coconut oil, plus argan, olive, jojoba, and wheat germ oils, along with vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. What I truly appreciate about it is, though it cleansed my hair, it did not leave it feeling extremely stripped and brittle. I look for that in a shampoo. I like my shampoos to be extremely hydrating. I like it to set up and it did all the above. So I really love this shampoo. And when I'm done with this bottle, I can see myself repurchasing it. I do like it. Also, I never detangle my hair with shampoos, but I can definitely see me doing so in a pinch. So that's definitely an added bonus. Next up is the moisturizing and smoothing conditioner. Along with the shea butter and coconut oil, it also has olive, sunflower, and argan oils along with vitamin E. This is another product that I absolutely love. I will be repurchasing this product, my hair, was so hydrated and I was so impressed with how easy it was to detangle my hair. I absolutely love this product. It gave me no fuss whatsoever when it was time to detangle and that's the major thing that I'm looking for above all other things in a conditioner. So I will definitely repurchase this in the future. So I tried to get a little fancy with my wash and go. I was just tired of doing the same old, same old wash and go. So I decided I wanted to do something at the crown of my head. It wasn't the best, <laughs> but you know, I tried and I will continue to just do different things with my hair. Just experiment a little bit. Hopefully you guys can uh, try the same thing and execute it a little better. up is the Super Moisturizing Curl Definer. The definer claims to deeply hydrate and soften the hair. It has a nice hydrating consistency and it does a very good job defining my hair. I do believe you have to use it in small sections in order to make sure that it's saturated throughout the hair. Make sure you're not doing large sections, the smaller the better, but it does a really, really great job with moisturizing. The last product up is the Curl Popping Defining Gel. It claims to moisturize and be flake resistant and impart shine. So it has a custard consistency and realistically custards are usually a hit or miss in my hair. Custards tend not to do much of anything with wash and goes in my hair. Now I'm using it to smooth out the front of my hair and it does a great job because of all the oils that's in it. 
It says that it has not only the shea butter and the coconut oil, it also has the black castor oil. So that does a really good job with smoothing out my hair, leaving the shine like it claims. But as you guys will see with the results of my wash and go, it really did nothing as far as defining my hair. So in the future, I will probably just use it to style my hair and my ponytails or if I'm doing any sort of like cute design in my hair but I probably won't reach for it for my wash and goes. And generally speaking, the entire line smells so good. It's one of those products that after you use it for days on end, you still smell it in your hair. If you guys remember Cherry Blossom from Bath and Body Works from like back in the day, they probably still have it in their stores. Anyway, that's kind of the gist of the smell of the line. It just smells so good, so that's definitely A+. I pretty much struggled with the front part of my hair for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I ended up cutting out most of that footage. So in the process of doing that, my hair pretty much was all the way dry. So I went ahead and I put water back in my hair with my water bottle. I probably should have like went back into the shower and kind of dampened my hair that way to make sure that it's super saturated with water because with wash and goes, that's the only way my hair would turn out halfway decent is if my hair is soaking wet. I try to get it as wet as possible, but honestly in the future, I'll probably redo this wash and go just to see if it will turn out a little bit better because I feel like my hair was still frizzy and I don't know if that was from the products or was it from my hair drying all the way before putting in the products even though I did try to douse it with as much water as possible but anyways you guys will see that I'm just doing my hair as I normally do it if you guys would like to see an in-depth video on how I define my hair using the dimming brush I will leave it below Hey you guys, so it is the very next day and I just wanted to show you guys the results. I was actually thinking about taking this out because I wasn't really sure how it would look on me, but I'm actually kind of digging it. It's something completely different. You guys saw the process of how I actually did my hair and my hair was super dry when I put the products in. I tried to douse it with water as much as possible, but it still wasn't like freshly wet from the shower wet. So maybe that affected the results, but it's still looking cute. So breaking the different products down, I want to mention the shampoo and the conditioner. Of the whole entire line, these two are my absolute favorites. I would say that if you had to pick and choose particular products from the line, it's the shampoo and conditioner. I never really make a huge deal out of my shampoos and conditioners. I felt like this shampoo was good enough to detangle my hair. It, my hair did not feel super stripped. I like that there was a little bit of suds action going on. It's also moisturizing, which I look for in a shampoo. So this is high up on my list. And then when I used the conditioner, after using it, I didn't even feel like I needed a deep, deep conditioner. I didn't even use a deep conditioner afterwards. I'm not even sure if this particular line has a deep conditioner. I'm assuming maybe it does. But at any rate, I didn't have one from this line. And after using this, I didn't feel like I need to. My hair, you guys saw the clip. It detangled so well just with these two products. Yes, baby. Yeah, I'll give you some more chicken nuggets. One moment, okay? the curl definer cream and the gel worked really well in my hair i feel like my hair 
is defined it's moisturized uh, with the gel it was just a super soft hold and i really like when my gels leave a cast on my hair and probably because it has shea butter and coconut oil as the base in this product this is the gel which is probably why it didn't give me a super stiff hold but that's fine i think it did a very good job i do need to get my ends clipped i'm in the process of trying to find a salon that can do my hair um, because i want to cut my hair and you know have some volume to it but working with what i have i do like the results so go ahead and leave any comments that you have let me know how you feel about the wash day that i did today go ahead and leave some suggestions on products that you would like to see from me <laughs> And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. I will see you guys really soon. Take care. Bye.